Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com, and in this video, we'll be conducting a features inspection and performance evaluation of the newest launch from Boston Whaler, the 220 Dauntless. This popular lineup has been at the heart of Boston Whaler for decades, and with this new model, the builder has taken everything it has gleaned from the voice of a customer and created a boat with smart amenities that cross over from fishing to water sports to cruising. Let's take a look, starting at the stern. The cockpit is self-bailing with large drains to both sides under the aft seats. These drain directly overboard rather than into the bilge. Those seats are flip-up jump seats with comfortable padding and ergonomics. Beverage holders are right alongside and flanking three flush-mounted rod holders, the first of 11 on board. With the seats folded down, an on-skid casting deck is created with no trip hazards protruding. An optional power pole is mounted to the port stern on our test boat. The decks remain flush right out to the reboarding platforms and a hatch to starboard is over the reboarding ladder. It angles out from the sharp edges of the adjacent outboard motor. At the transom beneath the rod holders, there's a freshwater shower with a pull-out wand. Long grab rails are to the upward sides and inside the gunnels in a contoured recess. Optional raised rails are available that will surround the boat. Cockpit depth here is a safe 22 inches increasing to 25 inches as we move forward. Just ahead is seating with a flip seat back. This one is fitted with the optional live well underneath the cushion. Without the live well, there's a self-draining insulated storage in this position making an ideal cooler. Two more rod holders are in the aft corners. The console is accessed through a starboard side door. There's a convenient grab handle over the door and notice that the door is also widened so it's easier to get the shoulders through without having to turn sideways. Also, the door is held open with tension hinges. Inside are trolling motor batteries, the porta potty, and at the aft bulkhead is the ignition. A charging plug is located to the port side of the console. Moving to the bow through the 17 inch wide walkthrough to either side, just ahead of the console is a double wide lounge, probably the largest in class. It includes stainless steel and padded flip down armrests, much preferred over the flip up style that have to be released to stow. Beverage holders are just beneath. Self-draining storage is underneath and will accommodate seven foot rods as well as plenty of gear. Two support struts hold the hatch open and notice it's finished on the underside as well. At the bow is a large sun pad with six inch combing. It measures 43 inches fore and aft and 62 inches wide at the aft end. Of course, the cushions can be removed to create a casting deck 14 inches off the main deck. There are two hatches here. The forward one is an anchor locker with a notch in the deck to accommodate the road. Aft is a large insulated and self-draining storage space. The hatch is finished on both sides and held open with a gas support strut. At the aft corners are stereo speakers, a flush mounted rod holder, and notice how the beverage holders are integrated into the one inch thick rail and mounted in a molded recess. Fully forward is an optional motor guide X5 trolling motor. Moving to the operational features, at the transom is a 250 horsepower Mercury outboard and notice the engine well is contoured to allow the engine to tilt fully out of the water. The boat is fitted with six 8 inch cleats including midship cleats. The top of the helm console has a padded surface and just ahead are USB and 12 volt connectivity plugs. The panel consists of dual 9 inch displays flanking a vessel view display and a fusion stereo. Beneath are rocker switches and the VHF. The stainless wheel has a steering knob and it's mounted to a tilt base. The trim tab rockers are next to the throttle. Below are two footrests and then a recess to accommodate the feet when standing at the helm. Visibility is through an acrylic windscreen with zero distortion at the curves. Of course, the helm seat is the same seat we discussed earlier, this time with the seat back flipped aft. It latches into four positions. Overhead is a canvas T-top supported by powder coated framing. Underneath is LED lighting and PFD storage, plus it's rigged to accommodate outriggers. Grab handles are integrated into the sides, and four more rod holders are across the trailing edge. A tow point is in the center. The Boston Whaler 220 Dauntless has a length overall of 23 feet 4 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a draft of 15 inches. With a single 250 horsepower Mercury XLV8 turning a 14.5 by 17 inertia propeller and wound up to 5600 RPM, our speed topped out at 47 miles per hour. Best screws came in at 25.7 miles per hour and 3500 RPM. 
At that speed, the 6.9 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 3.8 miles per gallon and a range of 270 statute miles. Now this was on a windy day with light chop. Boston Whaler reports a top speed of 50 miles per hour at 59.60 RPM. All while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 80 gallon total fuel capacity. With the throttle pinned, we came up on plane in an average 2.2 seconds, accelerated to 20 miles per hour in 3.7, and 30 came and went in 5.5 seconds. She handles like a dream with a smooth feel as we made our way through light chop. There was no pounding even at top speed. When crossing wakes at slow speed, she wouldn't plunge through but just parted the waves, throwing spray low and wide for a dry ride. Turns have minimal chine walk and just enough slide to keep things comfortable. With the engine trimmed, the prop would lose its bite in performance turns, but lowered, she showed a continual grab throughout. Just add about five clicks of the trim button to return her to her optimum running angle. Boston Whaler consistently keeps cranking out quality boats regardless of the size, and that quality can be seen throughout this 220 Dauntless. She also has a large dose of attention to ergonomics that isn't sacrificed by the addition of so many features, and she easily transitions to a day on the water with the family to a day off the coast with fishing buddies. All said, it's literally the whole package. And that's my full features inspection and performance evaluation of the new 220 Dauntless from Boston Whaler. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.